These are the kind of shots that any news photographer wants to get for his paper, but in this case, it was a little too close for comfort for me. I got a call that a jewelry store had been robbed only a few blocks away from me, so I jumped on it. Long story short, the fugitive tried to run away from police, crashed his car, fled the scene, and ended up running directly for me. Well, I saw the guy try to carjack a vehicle in front of me, and when he couldn't, I knew that I was next. So I threw my car in reverse and I tried to peel out of there, and he chased after me, and another vehicle pulled into the lot, and he went after the woman who was driving that vehicle. He tried to get into my car, he opened the door, tried to pull me out, and the next thing I know, he's halfway in my driver's seat, and then steps on my accelerator pedal. We hit the fence uh, off to my right-hand side, and that's, of course, when the vehicle stopped, and police apprehended him right thereafter. So here, police are chasing the guy down as he tries to get into the vehicle, and they start struggling with him, and the guy's putting up a good fight. And here you can see police trying to reach for the taser to subdue him, and right here, they zap the guy right in the back. And you know what? It works. It gets him down, gets him on the ground, lets the cops get their man, and there he is, the face of brutality. I'm glad the police got him, because I didn't want to get involved with him.